Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on suspension cables. Let us read the question and draw the diagram. A three hinged stiffening girder of a suspension bridge of 100 meter span subjected to two point loads of 20 kN each placed at 20 meter and 40 meter respectively from the left hand hinge determine the bending movement and shear force in the girder at a section 30 meter from each end also determine the maximum tension in the cable which has a central dip of 10 meter let us keep the left side hinge as a D the central hinge as E and the right side hinge as F in the suspenders, we have to find the equivalent uniformly distributed load WE. From the cable, it will be acting downwards and from the girder, it will be acting upwards. Now in the girder, let us find the vertical reaction VD. For that, I am going to take a moment about F. When we take a moment, we have to only consider the girder. VD is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 100. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 80. This load also is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it is also negative and the distance is 60. In this process, we should not consider WE. For VD, we will get 28 kN. To find VF, we have to subtract VD by the total load. Here, the total load is 20 plus 20, so it is 40. For VF, we will get 12 kN. Now, let us find WE. We know that in the hinge E, the bending moment will be 0. There will be two bending moments. The first bending moment due to the loading and the second bending moment due to WE. Since in the hinge E, the bending moment is zero. When we add these two, it should be zero. In the hinge E, let us find the bending moment due to the loading. If we find from the right side, it will be easy. This reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 100 by 2 so it will be 50 for the bending moment due to WE we can use the formula from the simply supported beam in the simply supported beam if the uniformly distributed load is acting for the full span the formula to find the bending moment in the center is W L square upon 8 but the load will be acting downwards. Here the load is acting upwards so the moment should be negative. Here W is W E L is 100. Finally we will get 0.48 kN per meter. Now in the cable, let us find the horizontal reaction. The formula is WE L square upon 8H. WE is 0 0.48, L is 100 and H is 10. For H, we will get 60. Now in the cable, let us find the vertical reactions VA and VP. For that, we have to multiply the uniformly distributed load with the distance and then we have to divide that by 2. When we do that, we will get 24 kN. Because of this uniformly distributed load, the reactions in the cable will be acting upwards and in the girder, they will be acting downwards. Now, let us find the shear force at 30 meter from the left side we have to use the right hand side formula upwards positive and downwards negative at 30 meter from the left side let us make a point 
let us keep the point as G. We have to only consider the stiffening girder. This reaction is acting upwards so that it will be positive and this reaction is acting downwards so that it will be negative. This load is acting downwards so it is also negative. The uniformly distributed load is acting upwards so that it will be positive and the distance is 30. Finally, for the shear force in the point G, we will get minus 1.6 kN. Now, let us find the bending moment in the point G. We have to use the right hand side rule. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. The reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 30. So, 28 into 30. This reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 30. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 30 minus 20, it will be 10. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 30. We know that with the uniformly distributed load, we have to multiply the distance and the distance by 2. 30 by 2 is 15. Finally, for the movement in the point G, we will get 136 kN. Now, let us find the shear force at 30 meter from the right side. Here, we have to follow left hand side rule. Upwards will be negative and downwards will be positive. Let us keep the point as H. This reaction is upwards, so negative. This reaction is downwards, so that it is positive. The uniformly distributed load is acting upwards, so that it will be negative and the distance is 30. Finally, for the shear force in the point H, we will get minus 2.4 kN. Now, let us find the bending moment at 30 meter from the right side. This reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 30. This reaction is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 30. The uniformly distributed load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 30. 30 by 2, we will get 15. Finally, for the movement in the point H, we will get minus 144 kN. Now, let us find the maximum tension in the cable. We know that the maximum tension occurs in the supports. We know the formula to find the maximum tension. Root of V square plus H square. V is 24 and H is 60. Finally, for the maximum tension, we will get 64.62 kN. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.